We didn't finish Ajabab 3.1 in the previous class, so we will go over the, the exercises. In fact, we have so many exercises. We need, it is supposed to finish today, three point, we are supposed to finish 3.1, 3.2, 3.3. I don't think so that will be possible unless we will choose some exercises and we will get just the idea. What is the idea? If it is clear, we can go to the next one. So we will play the game of uh, solve or skip together. If it is easy, we will skip it. If it is, uh, if there is a new idea or a new trick that we need to uh, learn, we will solve it. If you remember 3.1, it was about the derivatives of polynomials and exponential functions. Uh, the derivative of the constant is zero. The derivative of the power function, uh, or uh, it is n x to the power n minus one. The derivative of the exponential function, it is itself. If you have a constant multi multiplied by a function, if you have a constant multiplied by a function, the derivative will be the constant multiplied by the derivative. Also, the derivative of the sum is the sum of the derivatives. And also the derivative of the difference, it is the difference of the derivatives. In 3.2, 3.2 is just, you will use these, these formulas that you have before, you will add two new formulas, the product and the quotient rules. Uh, the product of, uh, the, the derivative of the product, it is not, it is not, the it is not the product of the derivatives be careful about this common mistake so the derivative of the product it is not the product of the derivatives what is it the derivative of the product it is the first one times the derivative of the second plus the first one times the derivative of the first for the quotient also the derivative cannot be distributed over the quotient so the, the derivative of the quotient it is not the quotient of the derivatives what is it? It is uh, the denominator times the derivative of the denominator minus the denominator multiplied by the derivative of the denominator all over the square of the denominator. So this is 3.1 and 3.2, just these formulas. Let's go now and continue practicing. I think we have solved the previous ex uh, exercises. We have stopped at this exercise. What is the idea? We need to find the tangent line and the normal line. Do you know, Yashabab, what is the normal line? If you have a graph. It's, uh, it's uh, the line that to, yes. the, to the tangent. It's the bring... line that is perpendicular. Perpendicular to the line at the tangency point. So you, it, can, it can be here, uh, no, uh, perpendicular here or here. But if it is normal, it will be perpendicular at the tangency point. Okay, so this is the normal. And this is the tangent. And this is the curve. Excellent. So it is the, the idea, you know, what is the relationship between the line? If you have a line, what is the, uh, the, the relationship between the line and the line that is perpendicular to? If the slope of this one is M1, what will be the slope of this one? Negative one over M1. The negative reciprocal. So this is the idea. I think that the, the, this exercise is easy. So we will not solve it completely. What you will do, you will find the derivative 2x minus 4x cubed by using the Bowers rule. Then you will evaluate it at what? At 1 and 0. So x here is 1. At x equals 1. If you need y, if there is a y, you can. So it will be y prime at 1. It will be what? It will be 2 minus 4, it will be negative 2. So this will be what? This will be the slope of the tangent. We can use this notation, m tangent. Now, what will be the, 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 the m, um, the slope of the normal? It will be a half, the negative reciprocal. Now, what you will do, you will go and use the equation. You know why? Without minus... negative, without Posit negative, just the half. Positive, doctor. <laughs> Positive, you're right. It is the negative reciprocal. This is negative two. Yes, thank you. Now, uh, you know that the, the buoyant slope form for the equation, it is this one. So now you have a point, here it is, and you have the slope. What do you want? If you want the, the equation of the tangent line, this, here it is. This will be the slope. And if you want the normal line, this is the slope. It is a half. What is the remaining is just a matter of simplifying. Let's go and have another one. Uh, this one also is clear, Shabab. When you have the equation of the, or the function of the motion, here we have uh, the, 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 the position function. 
you need to find the velocity and the acceleration. So what you will do, you will differentiate. So the, the velocity will be the derivative of this one, 3t squared minus 3. And the acceleration is the derivative of the velocity, which is the second derivative of the position. It is 60. Now let's go to the part C. In part, uh, in part B, the acceleration after two seconds, you will just evaluate the acceleration when t is 2. So you will just hear both t equals to 2. For the last one, you need, to, you need to find the acceleration when the velocity is zero. So when the velocity is zero, it means when f of t equals to zero, this is the, the velocity. So this means when three t squared minus three equals to zero, which means that t minus one equals to one, t equals positive or negative one. But t cannot be negative, of course. It is time, Shabab. So it is one because it is positive which is about time. Now, what you need, so this is when the acceleration, when the velocity is zero, it means that t is one. This is the meaning of when the velocity is zero. So what you will do, you will go to the evaluation, you will go to the uh, acceleration, this is the acceleration function, you will put instead of t, what you will put? One. Here it is. So this is the meaning of find the acceleration at when the, the velocity is zero. Now, okay, now let's start now the tricks. These are most of the tricks in the exams are coming from these type of exercises and from the next ones. I need a shabab ideas. If you have an idea, you can share me share with me your idea. I'm gonna start one by one, shabab. Abdullah al Belushi, what do you think? How what is the idea? How to solve this, Abdullah? Are you there, Abdullah? If you didn't respond, Shabab, I will consider you absent. Students who will not respond, even you say, I don't know. I don't know, it's okay. If you, if you are not responding, I will consider you absent, even if you are joining the meeting. So Abdullah al is not here. Muhannad al Atebi. Muhannad? No, no, doctor. Any idea, Mohanad, how to solve this? Find the points on the curve where the tangent is horizontal. Uh, simplify. How to simplify? Uh, I don't know. You don't know. It's okay, no problem. You will know now. Please follow us, uh, uh, Mohanad. Naif uh, al Naif al -Jad. Naive. Yes, I'm here, yes. Naive, uh, we can get the definition uh, and uh, put it equal zero. Yes, excellent. Yes, yes. What do you want, Abdullah Jirisi? If you want to answer, it's okay. Naif, give us the idea. So Naif said, if you want to find, uh, if you need to know when, when the tangent is zero, when the tangent is horizontal, when the tangent is horizontal, you know that the slope is what? Zero when the tangent is horizontal. So this means the derivative at that, at that point is zero. So we need to find the points that at which to them is zero. So we will solve, we will solve the equation that says, so first of all, we will find the derivative. So what is the derivative? It is polynomial, Shabab. Please. I'm afraid that some of you, they don't know how to find the derivative of the polynomial function. Be careful if you cannot, please. So the derivative, Shabab, quickly, it is what? Six, you know, three x times square, x squared plus, plus six, six, six x minus 12. You should do it like this quickly. Okay, now we did find the derivative. Now what we will do, we will need to find the values of x at which the derivative is zero, or at which the horizontal is zero. So we need to solve this equation. So we will put it equals to zero. This one, we will put it equal to zero. Why? Because we want the tangent to be horizontal. Now to solve this equation, you need to divide both sides by six. And it is just how to solve this quadratic equation. It is x plus two times x minus one equals to zero. So it is x equals to negative two and x equals to one. Usually when they ask you about points, point it means x and y, two coordinates. So now find what, when x is negative two, 
find y when x is 1 find y and this will be the point negative 2 and 21 1 and negative 6 if they ask you about the y coordinate of the point is that clear shabab any any question about this or we will go to the next one so doctor the trick will be in finding the points here no trick the trick is here the tangent is horizontal do you know what the, what is the meaning of the tangent being horizontal? It will equal to zero. I can uh, ask you here, find the points of the curve uh, where the tangent, when the slope of the tangent is two. What you will do, you will put it equals to two instead of zero. Okay, yeah, great. There's no another tricks. Okay, let's continue now. Look at this question, Shabab, read it. And I will ask now um, Ali Mubarak, if you have an idea about, it, about how to solve it, Ali. Ali and Hattan and Turkey. Think about it, Shabab. Ali Mubarak, Hattan, Kadi, Turkey, Tabi. Anyone? Let me check the attendance. Ali Mubarak, are you there, Ali? Ali is not here. Hattan. Uh, doctor. Yes, I'm here. Turkey, yes. Tabi. Yes, I'm Turkey. In our uh, yeah, uh, the question said that our tangent to this curve and parallel to this line. I take the slope uh, of the other line mm -hmm. and make it uh, take the derivative of the first and uh, make it equals to the slope of the other line. Allah yirda alayk ya Turkey. Ahsan. Excellent. Yes, this is the idea. Find the equations of the both lines that they are taking. So we have two lines, two lines. Well, I'm looking for the equation of the line that are tangent to this curve and parallel to this line. So now, if you imagine the problem, you have Yashabab to imagine your problem, whatever the, the function is. So what we have here, we have here, uh, we have a curve, this is the curve, and we need to find the equations of both lines that they are tangent to this curve. So I have two lines, they are uh, uh, tangent to this curve, maybe this one and this one, these are two tangents. They are tangents to the curve and the parallel to this line. So there is another line here, another, another line. So this line is not tangent. This is not, not tangent, yes, Shabab. Be careful. It is not tangent, not normal. It is not related to the curve at all. Just it is parallel to the tangent line. So now the point is what will be the equation of this line and what will be the equation of this line? So I have the curve and I have the line. The line. So as Turkey said, because they are parallel, you know, when you have two parallel lines, their slopes will be the same. If this is M1, this is M2, the slopes will be the same for the parallel. For the perpendicular, they will be negative reciprocals. So what we will do to solve this exercise, Shabab, we will just both uh, find the derivative first of all. You need to find the derivative and then both it equals to the slope of, the, of that line. So the derivative is what? Three. X squared, please, if you don't know how to find the derivative, you will be in trouble. Negative 6X plus 3. So this is the derivative. Now, what is the slope, eh, Shabab? What is the slope of this line? 3. The slope of this line is what? It is 3. You know that it is, uh, you should write it in the standard form or the, the, the slope intercept form, which will be 3X minus 15. This is the equation of the line. So the slope is 3. So now you will put this equals to three. This derivative equals to three. Now solve it. How to solve it? Divide both sides by three. You will have x squared minus two x. Or just bring it to here. It will be much easier. Three x squared minus six x equals to zero. Three minus three is zero. Now take three x as a common factor or divide both sides by three. It is okay. X minus two equals to zero. Is that right? Now, x is 0, 3 cannot be 0, x is 0 or x is 2. So this means Shabab, that we have, we have two points at which the slope will be 3. Now, go to the equation of the tangent, what it will be? It will be y equals y minus 1, m times x minus x1. Now, what is x1 and y1? This is the question. What is the point that we need to find? So now to find the point, the slope, I have it. This is M, okay? Now the points, this is three, by the way. This is three. This is the slope. So let me write it and write here. M is three. 
We are done with that. Now I have x1, I have a point, which is zero and two. So now I will find y. When x1, when x is zero, y is what? Now it is important to substitute where? So now the question is, what is x1, what is y1? Now x1, ya shabab, uh, when x equals to, uh, to zero, this is the first point. We will find y. Where? Here in the line or in the curve? On the curve. Why? Why would we don't use the line here? Because the line is it would be zero. To the curve. No, no, no. We should, yes, use the you can use the line if it is tangent. Is this tangent? No, it is not. At the tangency point, at the tangency point, you can use the curve and you can use the line. It is up to you. So now here, this is not tangent, so we will not use it. We should use this one, the, the curve itself. When y is zero, what you will have? Zero, 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 negative three. So now I will, what is the first equation that I will have? So it will be y minus, minus three equals two, three times x minus zero. So here I will put instead of x one, zero and instead of y one, negative three. You can simplify this, I will leave it for you. Now, the second one, when x is two, what will be y? Both x here equals to two, what will we have, Shabab? We have eight minus 12 plus six minus three. What it will be? Eight minus 12 plus six minus three. It will be 14 minus 12 minus three. Is that one. right? So it is what? Minus one. Minus negative one. one, yes. 14, it is negative one. What you will do now, you will go back and substitute now, if you want to find another equation, it will be y minus, minus one equals two, three times x minus two, this point. This is the another equation for the another line. Simplify it, you will have this answers. They will be like this at the end. These are the equation. This is the, equa the, equa the two equations of the two tangents line. So what was the, the trick here, Shabab, that this line is not tangent because this is a common mistake. Most of you, they went to substitute here. If it is tangent, yes, it is better to substitute in the line because it will be the same. Find an equation of the normal line to this curve that is parallel to this line. So this is now clear, I think. No need to solve this. It is clear. Why? What do you have here? You have y equals square root of x. Here it is. Now, we need to find the equation of the normal line. So it could be anyone, anywhere here. Let's say here, this is tangent, and this is the normal. This is what we want, Yashabab. Now, what he told me about this normal, he said, that this normal is a parallel to this line. Let's say like this. It is not like this, it will be like this. For example, something like this. It will not be perfect. So we have another line here, another line. Another line that is parallel to this normal. So this is what we want. Again, this line is not related to the curve, Yashabar. So you, it is not tangent. This is not, not tangent. And it is not normal. This is just parallel to the normal. So the idea is similar to what we did in the previous exercise. What we will do first, yes, Shabab, we will find the derivative. This is the derivative of square root of x. You should just remember it like that always. Now, this is the derivative. Now, since this is parallel to the, ta to the normal, what is the, the slope of this line, Shabab? Negative two. Minus two. You should write it in the standard form first before de deciding. It is negative x plus one. So the slope of this line is negative two. So what will be the slope of the normal? The same. Uh, plus uh, plus two for the normal, yeah. It will be the same for the normal. Why? He said that the normal is parallel to this line. Now, what will be the slope of the tangent? One over two. The slope of Positive the tangent half. is the negative reciprocal. A half, it will be a half, one over two. So now what will be the relationship between this and this? That one they over the same slope. square root of A equal. equals one over A. When, when, where A here, it is the tangency point. Let's make it X or A, no problem. 
Now, this means that x equals what, Yashabab? One. So now I, I, I got the x coordinate of the tangency point. So x equals to one, which is a equals to one here. I need to find f of a. Don't use this line, use the curve, use the curve. What is f of a? If x is one, what will be y? One. 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 Now I have x, I have y, what I want? I want the equation of the normal. The equation of the normal will be what now, Shabab? I think the final answer is here. Uh, the, the normal will be y minus one equals to the slope of the normal, which is what? Negative two. Two, two. x minus one. This is the equation that we are looking for. If you simplify it, it will be this one. Simplify it, you will get this. Negative two x plus two, and this will be y minus one. Add the negative one to there, it will be minus three plus three. Excellent. These, yeah, Shabab, notice that we have several kind of problems that they are about tangent, normal, and it is about how they are related to the derivatives. Okay, let me uh, ask you also for this I, for this question. Let me ask, uh, think about it, yeah, Shabab. Um, I'm still asking for uh, Ali Mubarak. He's not here, Ali Mubarak. Hattan, Hattan Kadi. If you have yeah, an yeah. idea about this, Hattan. Uh, I just thought about the last one and I got the answer, but uh, my no problem. Just got the answer, yeah. No problem. No problem. It is good to think about the old one and the new one. Think also about this. Hatan, I will start with you if you have an idea. If you don't, it is not. It is not a problem. Hussein Sayed also. Hussein Sayed and uh, Ahmed Al uh, Ahmed Al Marghoub. Please, if any one of you, Shabab, has an idea about this, please Maybe tell me. Maybe I have an idea. Yes, please, yeah, Hatan. We have two points, so we have the slope. For the tangent. Uh, no, are these two points are on the same line? Be careful, you have time. Are this, these two uh, points on the same line to find the slope? No. No, 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 I'm sorry. I have an idea, doctor. Uh, does it have a relation with the horizontal tangent? No, this is not a good way to, to, to discuss. Let's go one by one. So, Hatan has no idea. Hussein uh, Sayyid, do you have an idea, Hussein? Uh, we find the de derivative of y first. Yes, this is good step. Uh, and then uh, we can't find a slope because of uh, I'm not sure after that. Say, say no problem. You are not in exam. Say, say what what comes to your mind. Uh, I don't know. So you did find the derivative then. Uh, yeah. Did you read then, this? What, this this here. What he said. Oh, will we make it equal to zero. Yes. Yes, at these points. So now, uh, this is a good idea, Hussein. Uh, let me ask also Ahmed al marghoub yeah, Ahmed. So what is the derivative of this, Ahmed? Ahmed al marghoub Yes. Uh, the derivative of y? Yes. 3a, x squared. Thank you. To continue. Uh, 2bx mm -hmm. plus c. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you, Ahmed. You are right. You are right. D, D is a constant, so the derivative of the constant is zero. Excellent. So now that the plan, of, yeah, Shabab, this is a long question, by the way. Uh, if you if you if we want to solve it completely, it will take uh, like uh, more than five or uh, ten minutes. So the idea now we have the derivative, we have the function, we have the derivative. Now we want to find a, b, c, and d. We need to find the values of a and b and c for the for the for for for, for whom the for whose the, the graph has horizontal tangent at this point. So what does that mean? That means that y prime equals to what? To zero. At, at what? At x equals negative two. And also y prime equals to zero at x equals to two. So when I put x equals to negative two here, I should get what? I should get zero. So the plan is what? We have four, four unknowns and we should have four equations to find them. So what you should do first <clears throat> to make it easier for you, let me give you the plan here. You have... Um, uh, doctor, one, we have two uh, another equations. Let me call it, let me call it uh, f of x. Let me call this f of x. So we have here f, f of negative two equals to what? Six. And f at two equals to what? To zero. From where I bring this? From here. Because these points are on the graph. 
What also I have? I have f prime at negative two equals to what? Zero. And also f prime at two equals zero. From where I bring these two equations? From here. He said horizontal line. It has horizontal line at this point. So now these are the four equations that I will have. Let me write them down here. So what we will have now, Shabab, we will have, uh, by the way, f of two equals to f prime. It equals to f prime at negative two equals to f prime at two. So this means let's let's start let's start with the derivatives. It is easier. So from the derivatives from the last one, I'm gonna start with the last one. But x equals to two here. What you will have? You will have three a times four plus two b times two plus c equals to zero. Here you will have also. Uh, when it is negative two, it will be three a four plus it will be minus two. Let me write it in details. I will simplify it in the next step. Negative two plus c equals to zero. What I did, this equation is here. This equation is here. So from here, if you notice, you will have twelve a plus four b plus c equals to zero. And here you will have 12a minus 4b plus c equals to zero. And this is clearly, if you add them together, this will be canceled. This will be canceled. The, uh, let, let, let's, let's, let's subtract them. It will be easier. Subtract. This minus this, zero. This minus this will be eight. This minus this is zero. So this means that b is zero. Look, we were able to find the first variable. P is zero, and you can continue come on, doing this, but this equals to this. Now you will find the relationship between A and B and D and C, and you can continue. So you will have four equations with four variables. And you can solve it just, it will take time. And in fact, as uh, it is not expected to have this long question in the exam, unless of course you have a time for that. So now what we conclude from here, Shabab, this is D. This is D. This is C. If you want to solve, please solve it at home and check. And there is no x squared, yes, Shabab. Notice there is no x squared because B is what? Zero. Zero. And A, A is 3 over 16. Please solve it and practice. It is just a matter of solving system of linear equations. You, you know how to, that, to do that from... from... Uh, math zero zero two let's go now to have another idea let this function uh, which is piecewise functions let me ask this question to um Saleh al -Hajjaj. Yeah, Saleh, is this function differentiable at one sketch the graphs of f and f prime let's start by is it differentiable at one yeah, Saleh? what do you think how to know yes we plan. can uh, we can check from uh, the left and uh, from the right first. In general, in general, if uh, no need, no need I have to use the limits and check from the right and the left using the limits. What Saleh is saying that we should find the derivative first to know. You know how to find the derivative of this function. What is the derivative of this? 2x, am I right? For this one, yes. Saleh? 1. Now, can I write this x less than one and x greater than it equals one like this as, as they are? I can repeat them here or not? I cannot yes. repeat them as they are, Ya Saleh. Why? I need to check, as you said, I need to check at what? At the branch uh -huh. point. The branch point here is one. So I need to check I want before, before putting equals. So I should put them without equal. So this is the derivative. Now I need to check at one. What will happen here? What is f prime? What is f prime from the left? What is it? At one, sorry, not f prime at zero, f prime at one. What is it f prime at one? Ya Saleh? Two. It is two. What is f prime at one from the right? What is the derivative? One. The derivative? It is one. Are they the same? No. So they are not the same. Derivatives from the right and from the left, they are different. So in that case, we say that f prime at one does not exist. 
So the function is not differentiable at one. It is not differentiable. If you put here equals, it will be wrong because you say if you put this here equals, it use, you are saying that the value of the derivative at one, it is one. And this is not correct. So this is why you should remove it. You should remember the absolute value, Shabab, uh, example about this issue. So to sketch the graph of f and f prime, I, I'm sure that you cannot do that, yeah, Shabab, because this is, this is not our target here. This is not our target. This is from previous courses. You know how to sketch the graph of this x squared plus one. This is x squared plus one up to one. After one, draw x plus one. This line. Now for the derivative, it is, it is, mu it is much easier. Look at the derivative. The derivative is what? The derivative it is 2x when x is less than one. Let me repeat it here. If a prime of x, it is 2x if x is uh, less than one. And it is one if x is greater than one. It is not defined at one. So what you will do, you will draw, you will go to one. This is also, I think, easy for you. Let me just show you. Now the one at one, it is not continuous at one. It is not differentiable, taban. Now after one, when x is greater than one, it is one. When x is less than one, it is a line, this line, two x. And you see clearly that it has uh, no value at A, so it is not differentiable at A. This is a good question also with the, same, with the same idea. For what values of X this function is differentiable? Find a formula for the derivative and sketch the graph of the function and the derivative. Any idea, Shabab, how to do that? How to find the what values at them, at, them, at, uh, at which uh, values this function is not differentiable and where it is differentiable? How to solve such type of problem? Any idea, Shabab? I will ask you a common question for any one of you. Yes, Ya Musab, please. Uh, I think we should write the, this function as a, a piecewise function. Yes, without the absolute value. Yes, you are right. Thank you, Ya Musab. You are right. Then, so let's do what, what Musab said. Musab said that this function can be written as uh, what? As uh, x squared minus 9. What is wrong with the heat? Okay, it will be x squared minus 9. If, if what? If x squared minus 9 is greater than or equal 0. And it is negative, which will be 9 minus. 9 minus x squared when x squared minus 9 is less than 0. What I did, Yashabab? I just use the definition of the absolute value. You know the absolute value of whatever. It is that whatever or negative that whatever. When that one whatever is greater than zero, this is when what that whatever is less than zero. Now you need to simplify this expression. Now, in fact, what, what does this, this mean? It means that x squared, x squared is greater than. So this means that x squared is greater than or equals, let's say, or equals here. And this one, when it is less than. What I did, I just solve the equation, move the 9 to the other side. So now, how to solve this? Do you remember? So this will be x squared minus 9. Here, we will have 9 minus x squared. If what? Yes, Shabab, do you remember how to solve this? It is just, you will take the square root because they are positive. And this will be the absolute value of x greater than or equals 9. This means that x is greater than 3 or negative or less than negative 3. So now here we can write x is x is less than, let's see, let me write it here. Victor, you x forgot is three. less than negative 3 or x is greater than 3. What is this? This is the absolute value. This is 3, by the way. So this means, this means that the absolute value of x is greater than 3. This is enough. And here, x squared less than 9, x squared less than 9, take the, absolute, take the square root of both sides, the absolute value of x less than 3. So this, is, this also means that the absolute value of x is less than 3. Come on, or equal. This, we are still working on the function now. Now, to find the derivative, it is not difficult. You will find the derivative of this function. It will be just 2x, the derivative of x squared, minus 0. And here it will be negative 2x. The derivative of 9 is 0. This is negative 2x. 
Now we have to be careful here. Is it or equals or without equal? So here it will be the absolute value of x greater than three and the absolute value of x less than three. Now I need to check at three and at negative three. Okay. So how to check at three and negative three? Just find the derivative. Now, if, if, if x is a 3 here, Shabab, if x is a 3 here, what you will have? 6, six. here. Negative 6. So it is not differentiable at 3. Also, it will not be differentiable at negative 3 for the same reason. So now this function, this is the formula, Shabab, for the derivative. I, I did find it. So the function is not differentiable at 3 and negative 3. And this, this is the formula. So we will not write here or equals because they, they cannot be. Now, what you want, you want to sketch the graph of the function. Also, this is important. How to sketch the graph of this function, Shabab? This is not our subject, in fact, in this chapter, but it is not difficult. Do you know how to sketch the graph of this function, y equals x squared minus nine? Yes. yes. It is just, it is just a, a parabola oh, yeah. that opens up and shift it down. Here it is. Now, what you will do when you take the absolute value, what, what is below the x-axis will be above the x-axis. So it will be like this. So this is the graph of this function. And you can see clearly, clearly that there will be a corners, will be corners at three and negative three. So this is, this explain also why they are not differentiable. The function is not differentiable there. Uh, I have the graph here for the, for the function, here it is. And the graph for the derivative, this is the derivative. It will be two lines, 2x and negative 2x. So look, this is the, the graph of the derivative. When x, when x, let me, I, I'd like to mention it here clearly, the graph of, this is the derivative, Shabab. How to sketch the graph of this function. When x is less than three, this is x, this is three. When x is less than three, you have negative 2x. Here it is. When x is, this means when x absolute value of x less than three, it means that x between three and negative three. So it will be like this line. Here it is, this is two x, negative two x. Here, y equals to negative two x. For x greater than three or less than negative three, you have two x, this line. This line, but you need to cut it at three and at negative three. This is the graph of the derivative. It's clearly, it is uh, not defined at three and negative. Now we still we still in 3.1 and the class is almost done. Unfortunately, we, this is not acceptable. I will not solve this idea, Shabab. Just find the parabola. Find the parabola with this equation whose tangent line at this point has this equation. So what do we have? We need to find A and B. For whose tangent line at this point, so we have the point, we have A and F of A, has this equation. So now we have the equation of the tangent. So the slope is what? Three. The derivative of x could be, should be equals to what? To three. three. So find the derivative and put it equals to what? To three. Also, f, f at one equals to what? One. one. So you will have two equations. What you will have here? You will have the derivative. The derivative, it is two a x plus b. At, at uh, you will put it equals to 2ax plus b equals to what? To 3. At what? At the tangency point. So let's say this is not a because I have a here. So at the tangency point, what is the tangency point? 1. 1. So this is f prime at 1 equals to 3. So now what you have here? This, this is the first equation. Now f at 1 is 1. So you will have what? a plus b equals to what? 1. This is the second equation. Solve, solve this system. You will be able to find what is A and what is B. You have two equations with two variables. Excellent. And this will be the answer at the end. You can check your answer. Similarly here, but here there is a nice trick, Shabab. It is important to, have, to understand this type of problems. You have a function, find the values of M and B for, for that makes this function differentiable everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere means on the whole real line. So if there is a problem, is there any problem with this function? It is not. F prime of X is just two X and the derivative of this one, it is M. So this is yes, about when X is less than two and this is when X is greater than two. If there is a problem, it will be at two. 
So now you need to check at two. What you have to, to for this function to be differentiable, we should have the derivative from the left at two equals to the derivative at two from the right. So what does that mean? Is this means that two at two, this one here, both x equals to two, equals to m. So this means that m equals to what? To four. four. So it is easy to find m. The problem, how to find b? How to find v, Shabab? Now, this is the question. Check if, it, if it's uh, continuous on two. It should be. Know. It should be. Differentiable, it means, differentiable, it means continuous. But the opposite is not correct. If it is differentiable, it is continuous. If it is con continuous, it doesn't mean. So now, because f, f is differentiable, then f is continuous. I'm talking about at two, at two. So it is continuous at two. So when it is continuous at two, the limit of the function when x goes to two equals to the value of the function at two. So what we will do here, what is the value of the function at two? It is four. Am I right? Now the limit when x goes to uh, two, of course here it will be four. Here you need to find it. What is two? What is m? m is four. x is two plus b. So it will be what? 8 plus b equals to 4, which means that b equals to negative 4. We did find b. So when you have a question like this, remember the differentiability and the continuity. Use both of them to find a and b. The final answer is there. Let's go Shabab, to practice a little bit about uh, 3.2. We should solve uh, some problems and we will finish in the, the remaining ones inshallah next class. Next week, uh, one day, it will be just one day before the, the midterm. It's okay to practice uh, again over all sections. So how to find the derivative of this one, Shabab? You need to use the quotient rule. So the derivative is not difficult. I will skip this, Shabab. The derivative, you will just make what? The, the quotient rule, the square of the, the, the denominator here. Here you will have the denominator multiplied by the derivative of the denominator minus the denominator multiplied by the derivative of the denominator. Now take e to the power x as a common factor, cancel it with this one, take it as a common factor, you will have one minus x over e to the power two x. Now you will cancel this with this and you'll have one minus x over e to the power x. I'd like to mention this, any idea how to solve this as about which, which rule that we need to apply here? Um, uh, a product rule, but if you did it, it will take like two or three or five minutes from, from your time. What I advise you, Shabab, always to do before, before, using, before using the product rule or the quotient rule, ask yourself, can I simplify my function? Yes. Please, please. Yes. By the product rule, by the, by the product rule, what you will say? This times the derivative of this plus that, it will be long. But if you think about it, Shabab, what is this? This is just... Difference of squares. This is just u squared minus u. Am I right? Yes. 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 <laughs> Not what will be the derivative? 2u minus 1. 2u minus 1. Aha. So what is the trick that we learned from this exercise? Simplify your function first. Before differentiating, simplify your function or write it in the simpler possible form. Please try it by the product rule. You will see how long, how long it will be. Similar idea here. Don't use the product rule directly. What you should do first, you should simplify. So is it difference of squares here? No, but you can multiply the first one by the two terms. So what you will have, you will have one over y mm -hmm. plus five y. Am I right? Then negative three over y cubed minus three over y. Am I right, Shabab, like that? Minus 50. Yes. Now you can differentiate. But you can simplify, by the way. We have here negative 15. So you can simplify more. It will be uh, negative 14 over y plus 5y minus 3 over y cubed. Now differentiate. Now find the derivative, and this will be the derivative, by the way. If you did find the derivative, here it is. It is a little bit long, but it will not be longer if you uh, use the product rule. It will be more long. Here you have to, you need to use the quotient rule. You remember how to use the quotient rule? Let's do it together quickly. Or I'm going to do it for another function. But here it is important to know how to find the derivative of the product. 
So you need, you need to check your answer, yeah, Shabab, at the end. Here it is. This will be the final answer. Uh, find the first derivative and then the second derivative. So it will be long to find the second derivative, but let's find the first first. So what will be the first derivative of this? You will square the denominator, then the denominator multiplied by the derivative of the denominator minus, don't forget this minus in the, in the formula, minus the denominator multiplied by the derivative of the denominator, which is what? What is the derivative of one is zero. What is the derivative of e to the bar x? This e to the bar x. Simplify, how to simplify? Expand. Expand, simplify your expression. It will be like this at the end. Now, the question is how to find the second derivative. This is the first derivative. Now you need to go do this to differentiate this again. And you can see it is long expression. But the trick here, how this will be the, the, the value of the derivative, the second derivative at the end. But the trick here, how to differentiate the power here. You have a power. So if you, if you uh, are using the derivative, what you will do? Let me just find the second derivative roughly, roughly. So here you, it will be one over e to the power x, all to the power what? All to the power four, because you will square the denominator. Now here you will have the denominator multiplied by the derivative of the denominator. Now the derivative of the denominator is what? Two plus, now you have a product here, product of two functions. Don't forget to do to apply it. So it will be two x multiplied by e to the power x plus two e to the power two x. What I did, the first multiplied by the derivative of the second plus the second multiplied by the derivative of the first. Minus the same here. It will be the first multiplied by the derivative of the second plus, but we have minus, it will be minus, the second uh, multiplied by the derivative of the first. Look, what I did, I did just the denominator multiplied by the derivative of the denominator. Minus, now what you will do, minus the denominator, which is all of this. Let me write it here, Shabab. Minus, here, minus the denom denominator, multiplied by the derivative of the denominator. Now, what is the derivative of the denominator? You need to use the, the, the shared rule in this case. It will be two times one plus e to the power x multiplied by e to the power x by using the chain rule that we are going to have in 3.3, inshallah, in 3.4. Or we okay. can use uh, the product rule as uh, the function multiplied by the same function. Yes, uh, we will have the shared rule in 2.4 and it should be applied there. So, uh, this is what we have to, today for today, Shabab. But don't wait for me, please go and practice. Go and practice solving the remaining questions here in the slides. I will upload them. So, please go and practice and solve as many as you can of them because we will not be able to solve all of them in the next class. I will select some of them, the, the, the ones that they have tricks or new ideas, but for the others, you have the final answer here. You can just go and practice. Like this question, it is a long question, for example, but we will discuss the idea. Okay, see you, Shabab, next week, inshallah. Good luck. If you have any questions, I have time for that. Yeah, Dr. Andy, so always. Yes. The derivative of الكسر اللي هي القسمة في الدرس الماضي كنا نأخذ درفتف حق اللي فوق على درفتف حق اللي تحت بس هنا في قاعدة غير متى تصير هذه ومتى تصير هذه؟ wait 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 when when we use the derivative of the denominator over the derivative of the denominator مين اللي قال كلام هذا؟ أتوقع إذا كان في عدد constant فوق ونستعمل شو اسمه درفتف حق اللي تحت بس لا مو هو مو بالطريقة اللي تفكر عليها يعني هي نتيجة هي special case شوف انت لما يكون عندك function على function حلو لما ودك ضروري تستخدم الرول اللي هي g f prime minus f g prime this is the rule لو كان عندك هنا 1 على على function let's say 1 over g of x انت نفسها راح تطبقها نفسها بس ايش اللي راح يصير؟ انه الدرفتف حقت الاف الان الاف وش هي؟ 1 الدرفتف حقتها ايش؟ الدرفتف ويل بي وات؟ زيرو الدرفتف ويل بي زيرو 